Greetings, tis I, our Smalik, or Cheshire Smalik in this case, and I am here in my custom adventure map, Wonderland. I'm going to be doing a director's commentary of sort. Now this is a pretty popular portion of the map here. This is the Royal Garden, and of course I had to include a shout out to Mario Brothers, Fire Flower. Now if you go off this direction, you're going to find your way out of this area, but a lot of people miss the character who's in this garden, and that would be because he's fairly well hidden, and again, I thought that uh, if you knew the story of Alice in Wonderland, there's no way that you would miss this character, but a lot of people did. And so, I'm going to show you where he is. He's up here on the back of this mushroom. Well, that is a lot of skeletons. And this character, let me just secure my position here. Okay, this character is the Caterpillar, as you can see. And he gives you your boots. Lends you one of his pairs of feet, in fact. Okay. So, uh, at this point, you've met the caterpillar, and the next thing you need to do oh, is not die from poison or mobs. Uh, actually, at one point, uh, you were able to get out through here and jump, jump out of the map, and that was bad. Just letting my health regenerate a little bit here. I can hear a spider somewhere. And I hope you're enjoying some of the behind the scenes look at this map. This is one of my favorite custom maps. It's very simple. There are really no special effects, special effects to speak of. Uh, it's just, just something you play and enjoy the story. Uh, and at its time, I believe, I believe it was the first map that had real uh, voice tracks. Now, this area up ahead is familiar to a lot of people, even if they haven't seen the, the Disney movie or the later version of this, whoops, don't want to shoot him, of this, uh, of this tale. And this is the tea party in the middle of the woods. This is a scene that I actually used in uh, my video Follow the Dream and Vladimir Comster and a number of other uh, folks were well, good enough to wear skins and have a little tea party. So if you want to see what, what that's all about, you can check it out on my channel. It's called Follow the Dream. Uh, here I have some cutlery in the shape of the Mad Hatter's hat. And then here, 10, 6, that's the size of his hat that he wears. Here's his big hat that symbolizes that he's hiding in there. And this is the Dormouse. Here's his tail, here's his ears, his nose. Excuse me, I'm looking at tea. Uh, his body, and he's holding a little cake and drinking some milk. So that's the Dormouse hiding here. And the party. Die, pesky spider. Now this area up ahead. This something that I updated in the final version. So you can see the Red Queen's castle. That's actually, you don't quite know it at this point, but the Red Queen and all of the all of the kingdoms. Uh, creatures uh, are under assault by the White Queen, and so you're basically coming to rescue. And these catapults were added uh, in the Beta 1.9 release of the map quite a while after the map was actually out, and this was the last thing I added. Uh, but I wanted to show why the castle was actually partially destroyed, and it's because the White Queen is here. Um, and then... I'll show you one other thing that 
is sort of an inside joke between me and the actual book elves in Wonderland, is that the Kingdom of Wonderland uh, has mustard mines. Now, mustard mines do not appear in the movie that this was really a tribute to, uh, but they do appear in the actual storybook by Lewis Carroll, and so I included them. Now, you can hear some spiders walking around, but you can't see them. They're actually, uh, there's a big hollow beneath the ground here. Uh, what I was trying to do was hook this up with TNT, so that when you came up the walk, you'd step on pressure plates, and uh, this would actually explode, and you could see it from a distance. Uh, that was my first ever attempt at redstone. It was a miserable failure. In fact, there might even be some redstone back here. Uh, and the thing that failed the most about it was the fact that the mobs were continuously walking on the pressure plates and setting them off before you could get here. So the other thing of interest, this is a hedge maze. Uh, there's some... Uh, some of the playing cards are hiding in the hedge maze. And when you get to this point, these, these are supposed to be croquet hoops and croquet mallets and croquet balls. Uh, you get to this door and you find out that it's locked. All the beheadings have been canceled and you can't get in. Uh, and I was really, really pleased with the number of players that actually took the time to come over and find this door without giving up. I was actually quite surprised at how many people whoops, sorry, were able to find their way in to the castle proper. Now, this is the kitchen. This is where the servants sleep. And like many of my maps, I built the shell of this castle before I decorated it. And so I don't quite have enough room, to, didn't quite have enough room to do what I wanted. Uh, okay, the Cheshire Cat says to you that the cook hid the key and the matches. Okay, now technically you could just jump right over this door, but that actually ruins the one special effect in this map uh, that is in fact attributed and dedicated to... I'm just looking to see if I put any wood in here so I can make... Uh, torches, but I didn't. Uh, there's a one special effect in this map which was inspired by one custom map that I had played up to this point, uh, and I will show you what that is after I get the flint and steel and the button. These are the two important pieces in this castle. So the button goes here, simply lets you in. And this part here is actually not as hard as it could be. Uh, there's, there are quite a few, quite a few uh, spawn. Or, in fact, okay. When I first made this map, I made a very rookie mistake. This whole hallway right here was lined with spawners. Complete overkill. Uh, I finally reduced it to two. Uh, and then the natural spawns also. And the special effect here... I think I saw a spider, so let me just... Super. Oh! Okay, just gave away part of the special effect. I actually built the red throne room. And then... Inside the red throne room, I built this black uh, area that the... Wow, I've never had a... I've never seen a creeper blow that up before. That was actually interesting. I should put uh, mob griefing false. But it serves its purpose. So the idea here is that the White Queen took over the throne room and turned it black, uh, which you get through some of the story. But the Cheshire Cat actually leaves you a clue here. And it's B-U-R-N. Not sure if you can see it in the dark. Uh, but he basically tells you to burn it. And so the idea was that you would light this on fire. And all of the black wool would burn away. Leaving behind only the red and the actual uh, throne room. Oh boy. Now I've got a burning spider on me. Just one moment. 
AK-47 is not the uh, most accurate of weapons with the recoil. So when I first built this, fire sp oh my gosh, another creeper. Fire spread was actually pretty powerful. Uh, it was pretty quickly nerfed after that point, uh, and now it is finally back. Uh, to some degree where I needed to be to make this effect work um, But I think I was just a little bit overcompensating and In order to really burn the whole throne room you really really have to try uh, As you can see most of the throne room is in fact pretty bare on the sides But I did like the redstone So this is uh, pretty much the climax of the story here we have the Red Queen of Hearts gives you some apples. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and take these because I have taken a little bit of damage up to this point. Uh, I do want to point out that uh, the most recent LP I've seen of this was by Aurelian, so I wanted to thank her for that. Um, here, I used to have a minecart track going all the way to the end, and it was, it was a little bit boring, so I decided to add this portal. And I'll show you what happens if you go through the portal. Basically, uh, you come to the nether, obviously. And if you have collected enough wool blocks uh, up to this point, because you were allowed to destroy wool, you can bridge over there and take a shortcut to the end. Uh, but if you didn't want to do that, or if you didn't have enough blocks, or if you didn't trust the map maker, uh, you can simply come here and break the glass and you can see the old path to the end uh, and hopefully you don't light this on fire uh, I was really proud of this checkerboard pattern when I first made it and then I saw that it's actually kind of it's okay but it's very claustrophobic uh, the other thing is this minecart doesn't work because there's not a block here if you power that up all the minecarts rails break because of the glowstone. Again, this is Wonderland. Things are weird in Wonderland, so I ended up leaving that in. And you can see that the path through the nether is a lot shorter than this walk here. But uh, I will say that the people who played this map in the early days, they really gave it their all. And there were some, some really nice LPs that came out of this map. Um, so you come to this tree, and by the way, if you came through the portal, you'd come out up here. And suddenly, this is the first time I used this trick in a custom map, is making a copy of the starting area and putting it at the end. And I can't tell you how many people were like, whoa, what the heck, wait, how, how did I get back here? How did you do that? Uh, so really, really nice little trick that I like to put in almost all of my maps. And the final uh, chest says E N D end, uh, and the final final record player is here. So that was my playthrough, or my director's commentary for Alice in Wonderland, or I should say Wonderland. The official name of the map is just Wonderland. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little peek behind the scenes. Uh, like I said, this is one of my first early maps this is over two years old which uh, there have been so many thousands of maps made since but I feel like it still holds up and I think you know maybe maybe someday I'll do some updates to it but for now that is it and I hope you enjoyed it cheers <laughs>